All right, you're watching DefenseReview.com, and we're going to talk about the Daytron Scout uh, control unit, essentially. Right? The control unit, it's a very simple to operate system. There's an altitude slider right here that controls your altitude. You simply click and hold, the flyer climbs, release, and it stays where it is. Okay. To move the unit, you simply click on the map, and the unit moves to that position on, on the, the map. On the ground map. That's on the ground, ground map. Like a GPS? Uh... Exactly. Okay. So I've just moved the bird down the street. I can bring it back simply by clicking back. Okay. And then there's a, this window right here is your live video feed that's being streamed to the system while you're in flight. Gotcha. I can set, with this point, I can set a camera target and the camera will stay focused on that target regardless of how I move the unit. Gotcha, and where's your instant out oh, you so your altimeter is right there at 30 feet. I'm at 30 meters. 30 meters, sorry, 30 meters, sorry. And I can bring it right, let's just see it up there. And there it is. bring it down a little bit. Yeah, bring it down a little bit. Bring it, bring it sort of way down if you could, and so I can get it looking larger in my theater, my screen. There we go. And so you've just now received your basic flight instruction. That's it. It's that easy. There's a landing routine. There's a number of safety features built into the application that control flight time. There's a number of convenience features. We can do a grid map. So if you need a high resolution for like accident reconstruction, right? We can do automatic grid mapping. Right. So at an accident scene or even doing a lot of people are using this for crop applications where they're working to see what kind what the status of their fields are counting stock, heads of stock so there's commercial applications and we've got a vehicle coming through what kind of cameras do you have this unit the unit we're flying right now is a is a daylight camera with the 10x optical zoom and we have a FLIR uh, forward looking infrared package as well uh, we also have the daylight package without the uh, optical zoom. Uh, this is the Daytron Scout. And what's the range? How, how high and how far? So we have a 500 meter ceiling from launch point, and we have a three kilometer range. And, and go uh, 50 kilometers an hour, basically? Uh, it's got a 35 kilometer hour ground speed, okay. and we rate it for a steady 50 kilometer per hour wind. Gotcha. So all I have to do is click my icon, click over here, and the camera's going to turn around and look at us. Uh, Would you have to, oh, to, on our position, you put yep. it on our position? Here's, here's the camera, here's where I want to point the camera, I click. Right. And that's that, that uh, star goes on your position, right. wherever the controller is. This 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 is the home base of the unit where we took off from. Okay. This is our altitude, and here you know here I'm controlling position. Gotcha. We actually use a base station. That's how we get the three kilometer yeah, so that's range. Us over and there. that's the base that's, station that's right us there. In there. Uh, this is the people right over people here. Over let's uh, let's move it to face us. So there's me on screen right there talking to you. I, when I, I overshot a little bit. Right there. That's us. Let's see if I can wave. Hold on, you want, you want to see if you can see? See if you can see me waving. I know it's hard in the screen. The reflection is sort of... Yeah. We're not, we're not designed to videotape the video. <laughs> right. The video. Right. Uh, Very cool. All right, you are watching DefenseReview.com. How much money?